Good day guys, Austin here, and in this one today I have got something very special indeed. I've got Player Unknown's Battleground, the mobile version. Now, <laughs> when I heard about this, I thought, ah, oh, it's a mobile version, it's just a dodgy app. It's not official, it's not anything like that. Well, it is. It's official. It's from Blue Hole himself. They licensed it out to Tencent, and what they've made is complete magic. You have got the complete PUBG experience in this game. I mean, you've got the full map, you've got the weapon drops, you've got the weapons themselves, you've got Pachinki, you've got the school, you've got the power station, you've got the complete map laid out exactly how it was. You've got 100 players enter, one person leaves. Is that good? That even I managed to get my chicken dinner on here also. And you know what's even better than that? It's completely free. I mean legitimately free. I'm not doing this by some cracks or anything like that. You can download this and you can play it to your heart's content. Now the only caveat to this is that the official version how it's intended to be is only released in China. Now it's not anything dodgy, they've just made it so the only app stores that can download it are players accounts that are from China. But in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can play this worldwide. You can play this on your PC. We're also going to show you how to get it set up so you can play it using your keyboard, your mouse or controller, whatever it is that you want to control your player with. It's completely your choice on your PC to its full potential, completely free and you cannot get better than that at all. Even if you just load this up to take a look at what it's like. Trust me, you will be surprised with the magic that Tencent have managed to get out of this official version of PUBG on a mobile device. Hopefully, in the future, it will get ported out to, well, worldwide so everybody can experience this the way it was intended. But in this video today, we're just going to do it anyway. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Right then, so let's get this set up on our system. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is give it a operating system for it to run on. Now, as we know, this little version of PUBG that we're gonna be running runs on Android. So we have to tell our PC or give our PC a way to run Android so we can get this working. The free version of this, and to be honest, it's probably the best version, is using Nox. Now, in the description down below, I'll give you a link. It'll guide you to this website here. Now, what this is is a free um, way to emulate Android on your PC. So it's a Android emulator, I suppose. It enables us to give it an, a virtual machine running Android on our desktop. So all you need to do to get it set up is download that. Then it will give you a little exe file, whatever it is you downloaded it to. Double click on the exe file, go through the install as you would with any app, and you should end up with two little icons on your desktop as you can see here. Now, there is one which is, it just launches a version of Android, and you can go through it that way. The easiest way and the most compatible way that I've done it is to launch this one here, which is the multi-drive. This gives us different versions that we can launch so we can get specific setups for our Android device. Now, I'm sure we've all used Android, even if you don't own one at some point. So we'll double click on here. Now, depending on the Android device that you're running, obviously they've got different uh, requirements, different setups, different versions of Android, and also you can have mobile versions, tablet versions, TV versions, all that kind of good stuff. So we're gonna set up a version of Android so we can run PUBG on it. So this is the first step. So all you need to do is click on the Add Emulator tab at the bottom here. And then you should have a list of options here. I've got this one available to me, which is new Android emulator 5.1 so it's running Android 5.1 as far as I know that's the most recent version that you can run and luckily it is compatible with the PUBG that we're going to be running today so click on that now what it'll do is if it's the first time you're running this it will download Android 5.1 from Android itself it will then unlock it in the word set it up on your virtual machine and then what we can do is all these little tabs here give us various different options if you hover over 
it tells you what the tab does system settings create new shortcut start the actual system itself but first we want to set up the system itself so when it launches it's all almost ready to rumble so click on this little tab now there's a few settings it depends on whatever PC you're running on depending on what kind of settings you can do but I'm going to show you the settings that I did to get it working for me now first off in this performance setting here I went on to high I didn't change any of these settings I just left it on this tab high I've seen people do it on custom and I know people playing different games they do the VT stuff I, it didn't make any difference to me whatsoever so I'm just click on the high tab here next you want to tell it what kind of device you want to be running on so you've got the options of tablet or mobile phone doesn't make no difference but when you launch it it does make a difference in the way it's presented to you obviously if you click on mobile phone it pretends it's a mobile phone which means that you get the layout of a mobile phone portrait mode if you put it into tablet it puts it into landscape mode so in other words it's like on its side so it better fits your screen and obviously it looks a lot better when you're playing these kind of games so I left it on tablet next thing I left it on 720 but obviously if you get this working you can just tweak and mess around yourself put the resolution up but it didn't make much difference um, compatibility mode or graphics rendering mode uh, I went on to DirectX now it's 2018 most people will have this kind of support on your system I put it on there I cannot guarantee depending on what kind of PC you guys are running but I clicked on this and it was all working the rest of the stuff I just left uh, standard save settings yes exit out of here and that's now our little Android device ready to rock now what we need to do is actually boot it up and get this ball rolling so all you need to do is click on the little play button here and it should now boot up using the settings that we've just put into place so it's as if we have now just turned on our tablet and it will give us a virtual machine or a virtual tablet on our desktop as you can see Android is now starting to compound itself now the way that Nox player work to get money obviously this is a free uh, program but I think that they get the money by giving you a random game already pre-installed on your system obviously you don't have to play it or anything like that but I, I cannot guarantee it it's just what I get it's the way that in my mind how they get their money I've got no idea though right the easiest and most legitimate way to get PUBG would obviously be because this is running Android to go through the Google Play Store now everything as if you just got a brand new tablet is on there as stock as normally you would get if you purchased one so when you click on it you can go into Play Store and you can download your apps that way however because this is a Chinese game I believe it's region locked to China so unless you're actually living in China you haven't got access to it through the Play Store now there is ways of going around it by spoofing it using various different settings that we'll go over in just a second pretending that your uh, account is from China obviously because it's through the Play Store you need an actual Google or Play Store account to log in I didn't use anything legitimate at this point because I don't really want to put my personal details not just for this video but also to not this app I do trust Knox but I don't trust the Chinese side of it all not that I'm saying anything against Chinese people it's just the Chinese app I I can't read so I don't know what I'm signing up to I don't know what I'm clicking the last thing I want to do is tie up my legitimate account for my Android devices to this so the easiest way I could go about this was to download it from a third-party site so obviously I need PUBG the game to be installed onto this virtual machine or this Android device now again you do it for the Play Store but the easiest way I did was literally Google PUBG Lite Quantium whatever it's called APK that 0.3.2 I cannot link it in the description down below because even though it's a free game it may be covered by licenses and all that kind of stuff so the last thing I want to do is open myself up to people coming at me saying I'm sharing games so go into Google find it yourself just be aware everywhere that I've seen and downloaded these kind of games from um, they all seem legitimate but be careful when you are downloading. it's the same as everything they download from the internet it may have add-ons on there to give you the Bing search engines on your browsers uh, malware adware all that kind of stuff so be careful when you are downloading it from websites that you actually get the game itself nothing else dodgy with or bundled with the game 
Once you've done that, then you'll end up with, like I said, the APK file on your desktop or wherever it is you downloaded it to. And this is the game itself. Obviously, we need it installed on our make believe virtual machine Android device. Luckily, Nox is awesome, and all you need to do is literally drag the APK file into it. Now, depending on what kind of system you run in, depending on what kind of setup you made and all that kind of good stuff, it may differ from, uh, it, it may take some time. But once you've dragged it over, leave it for a few seconds, let it do whatever it does. And once it's done, as you can see, it pops up on your desktop. How awesome is this? Right, now we've got the game installed. We do have to jump through a few more hoops to get this working for the first time. Once all this is done, by the way, guys, literally you click on the virtual machine press play double click on that and you're in there you do have to jump for a few hoops to get your account set up for this version of PUBG though first off we want to make sure that we can squeeze every ounce of goodness from our little make-believe Android device so click on this little system settings at the top here and you've got various different tabs along the top the second one is the one that we launched at the very beginning, so all these settings won't change. However, under the property settings, ah, first off, general settings. I don't know if this makes any difference, but I like to root my devices. That gives you more options if you've got an Android device in the real world to put extra apps on your system. Didn't make any difference to me, but I like to tick that box anyway. Next thing, go into the propriety tab or property tab, and this sets your system up to pretend to be a specific Android device. Now we chose a tablet and from the drop down box here, it gives us these options of devices that we can use as an Android environment. Now I chose this one, it worked for me. I've got no idea if it's the best one or anything like that. I've got no idea if it makes an impact, but my guess is, is that the game is actually tied into what kind of phone or what kind of tablet is you're running off so the better the tablet is probably the better options there are i don't know if that's true but it, <laughs> i'm going along with it so i chose this one which is the smg 925f you can google it see if that is the best i've got no idea click on that and then when i, I don't know if there's nothing else now there's nothing else i need to change once you've done that then click save settings and it'll probably ask me to restart my device so save settings, you now change your settings, restart Nox for this to take effect. So now when I restart that, it will pretend to be that specific device. We've already got um, PUBG set up. So now it's a case of getting PUBG itself set up. There we go. Boom. And we are in. Right then. PUBG. Even though it is a free game, you need an account to run it, same as most games nowadays. Now, because this is region locked and all that kind of stuff, all the information that is in the game is in, I want to say Chinese, but I know it's not Chinese. Excuse my ignorance for languages, cultures, and all that kind of stuff. I believe they speak Mandarin, so the language is Mandarin. I've got no idea, but it's a language that I can't understand anyway. So, for me to set up an account, I don't want to do it through the app itself because I can't understand what it's saying. So the easiest way to do this is you've got two options to make a profile for this version of PUBG. The first one is WeChat or something or we we something. I've got no idea. And the other one is QQID. Now QQID has got an English speaking website. So that was the easiest one for me to log into. So again, in the description down below, I'll guide you to this website here, which is the official QQ website. All you need to do is put your details into here. Again, I used random information nothing that I normally use on any other profiles or setups or anything like that completely specific to this one so there's no information shared between the app and my actual real life stuff does that make sense I don't know you know what I'm getting at anyway so the first one will be your username next one will be your make-believe password next one then you do need a telephone in order to verify your account luckily I've got a throwaway page you go sim that I use for all this kind of stuff so all you need to do is select your region where your phone is active so for me it's UK so UK then put in your telephone number of your SIM card. Then 
click on send it would then give you a text message with something like a six figure code put it into there click on sign up now and it will give you a little uh numeric code and it's got eight digits in there that's your unique id for your profile make sure you don't lose that if you do you lose that profile you can make as many of these as you want and you can keep on using the same telephone number but you will lose your profile of what you get in game so bear that in mind there's no way to retrieve you can retrieve your password but you can't retrieve your user profile id okay now we've got that then we've got our user id mine is over here you can have a look at it if you want add me as friends i've got no idea how active i'll be um it does give you the option to download it in a text format which i did and this is my code here what i downloaded or what i set up should i say Okay, so now we're good to rock. We've now got PUBG on our Android emulator. We've got our account set up. Double click on it. This will now launch the game. Now again, depending on what kind of PC you're running, how it impacts, it could take different amount of time for it to run and all that kind of stuff. It may need to update the game depending on when you actually downloaded or watched this video. So the first time you run, I believe it has to embed itself on your system. So it may give you a little pop-up box, which I believe in its language is telling me to restart the game or it's now got to quit the game, please restart. It'd be good if anyone can actually speak this language and tell me if I'm getting any of this wrong. Put it in the comments down below. Okay, so it's quit it, launch it up again, and now it should go all the way through to the main screen of PUBG. Come on, got this. Down the side here, by the way, guys, while this is loading, you've got loads of different options for your emulator itself. So peruse at your own leisure, Google and all that kind of stuff. We'll be covering a few of the features to get the game working properly. But these ones are the ones that you would get on a tablet or a mobile phone, for those of you who used Android before. So this one's your back button, that one's your home button, and this one is your recent tasks, or in other words, your current open programs, I like to think of it as. Right then, we're now in. This is PUBG. I cannot believe how much they ripped this off. It's got the same music. It's got the same everything. It's it. I, it's crazy. It's crazy. So what we've got here is um, two different ways that we can log in. So as I said, this is the WeChat way. If you went down this route, it's all in Mandarin or Chinese, wherever you call it. So um, I couldn't log in that way. But what you can do is use your QQ way. So click on here. We've already set it up. We've got our code ready to rock. And the first time you set all this up and run the game, you have to log in. Once you've done this, it will remember your profile and automatically log you in every time you play. Now at this point, it will start downloading the QQ app because it needs this to make your profile within the game. So it may take a few seconds depending on your internet. For me, I'm living in the dark ages and my internet is so slow. Um, this screen, by the way, behaves the same as it would be with a normal Android device. So your pointer is actually your finger. When you press the button, it's as if you tap the screen in the place. So for those of you who used Android before, you can drag down from the top and see what's downloaded and installed and all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, it's now downloading the QQ app. Okay, so I downloaded it. I fast forwarded that little bit because my internet takes forever. However, once it's downloaded, click on it and it will now install QQ on your make-believe virtual machine. So it's basically telling you what it can do and all that kind of stuff because we used all bogus information is telling you that it's going to use your SD card all kinds of stuff that it would on a normal tablet but because it's a virtual machine we haven't put any good information in there we're all good to go so click on next install and it's basically a case of it installing onto our desktop which we should see in just a second come on install And there we go, we're up and running. So now we've got 
player unknown battlegrounds and we've got our profile ready to rock so now when we get into game have we got it still active no we haven't oh yeah we have there we go so we're still in game all you need to do is click on this again and now we just need to give it our login details so we can get up and running. Okay, this one on the right here, I believe, is if you want to make a new account. Again, I didn't use the in-app version of making accounts because I can't understand the language. But if you click on the other one, because we've made it using the English speaking website, you just put in your details here. So I've got my code here. This is my ID, which is four, Three, eight, two, five, one, five, seven, one, and my password, which one, two, three. You can use this, by the way, guys. I'll make a new one for me. This is the one that I just made for this video. Click on that. It should hopefully log us in. And by the gods of emulation, we should now be in game. I think it has it's worked. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, although the game is region locked, it seems as if the player profiles are not. So it doesn't make any difference where your profile comes from, only where you're playing it from. Now, because we didn't download it from the official store and we've just installed it straight on there, we've bypassed the region lock, which is awesome. So I've got no idea what's going on here. Well, I have. Obviously, we're making the profile, but I've got no idea when the the options pop up. So choose whatever setup you want to do. Customize them all you want. Again, you have to make your own way through these menus. I've got no idea what half of this writing means. And I believe you can choose different settings, but for some reason, I can't choose added detail if anybody knows how to turn the graphics up to get it more crystal clear then please put it in the um, comments down below I've got no idea okay and then for this stuff I think it's just advertisements because it's a free game like any mobile up they always smashing loads of advertisements at the beginning so what does I do is click on clicking on the X's and there we go, we're in, we're up and running, PUBG is ours, yes. So again, I've got no idea what all these means down the side, I think loads of crates and things like that. All as I do is click on this little button here, I believe these options let it put you in a team or singles, duos and all that kind of stuff, peruse at your own leisure. For me, I just whack on, it should now launch into game. I cannot believe how similar this is to the actual PUBG and how they've made it run on a mobile device. I know we're running this on a PC. Give it a second for it to sync up. There we go. And we're in. <laughs> this is crazy. Now, because we're running this on a mobile device, we um, you have to kind of do something with the controls. So, was is obviously your move around but because we're not touching the screen it's actually not viewing but it's set up so if you press the right mouse button on the screen it then activates the mouse to be able to be used <laughs> so now as you can see we're running PUBG but if you want to do it the other way you can literally use these as if you were pressing it on the screen and you can press that to punch jump all that kind of stuff or you can go into um i believe there's i'll show you that in just a second for now i just want to drop in but look at it look at the scale of the map what they've managed to do on a mobile device i know it's got nothing compared to the pc or the xbox version but i cannot believe it the other thing i would say is i'm in the uk obviously i'm running this on a chinese server so if you look at the top over here, I believe this is my ping, which is running 256 milliseconds, which is very bad. But the added incentive is because the majority of the people on this are actually playing this uh, using a mobile device with their fingers rather than a controller or mouse and keyboard, you have got the added um, reactions of using a mouse and keyboard. Right, I'm gonna drop. So press this to drop. 
<laughs> We're in. <laughs> Look at the scale of the map, though. They've managed to fit it all in. It's even got Pachinki, the school, everything, all in here. And you have got the hundred people, as you can see in the top right hand corner, uh, top top left hand corner. These are the people that are in my team, by the way. I didn't actually acknowledge them in my team. Where are they? Did they drop near me? I'm gonna see if I can make my way over there. Let's head over to these buildings over here. So you can tell, obviously, the graphics are dumbed way down. But the the way it runs, it's so smooth. So, so smooth. Right. School's over there, obviously. It's already kicking off. <laughs> this is awesome. I still can't believe I managed to get this working on a Android emulator. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm in. Oh, my lag's crazy now. For those of you who are in the US or something like that, then you, you're probably going to get a better thing, a better ping, so you wouldn't get as many lag spikes and all that kind of stuff. There is a thing that um, it automatically picks up from what I've noticed. So if you walk near something and it's um, higher than the level of whatever it is that you're carrying, then you will automatically pick it up. So as you can see, it's automatically done my backpack. If you hover over a device, then you can press F or E for me that I've noticed. And then you can start actually, um, yes, got a weapon, got a vest, I'm going in here, I need a helmet. Uh, you can open a menu to basically open things up. Also, if you press M, and keep your finger on it. You've got the map available to you. Obviously, it's all in Mandarin or Chinese, whatever you call it. You got the kill feed going on. It's PUBG. Obviously, dumbed way down. Oh, F is to open doors, by the way, guys. I need a AR and a helmet. Got a pan at least, though. Shotgun will do. Nice. <laughs> Med kit as well. Still need a helmet though. Uh, what's that? E? Yeah, E's to pick up an item. Shotgun's good close range, but it's not good once it's get outside. Let's keep on looting. <laughs> Again, I am so flabbergasted at how well this runs through the... Oh, here we go. Right, I'm kitted out. I'm just going to go for it. What the hell? Now, like I was saying a second ago, even though I've got a massive ping, I have got the added... Um, how would you say? Um, good thing of me using a... Whoa, someone's shooting me. Where is it? Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm kicking ass. Reload, reload. Here we go. I've got better aim and... Well, I would say better aim. Yes! <laughs> He's downed. He's part of a team though, isn't he? Killed him. Most of these players are playing using an actual touchscreen. So their reactions, their control isn't as good as yours. R is to reload, same as in the normal game. And that is it. That is PUBG working. I can't believe how well they have re... Well, they've made this game. The size of the map, the scale. They've got the school. Well, where is he? I'm kicking ass here. Come on, don't hide. Where have you gone? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Two. Oh, I'm down. And I'm dead. No one here to save me. Come on, dude. Kill me. There we go. So, yeah. That is PUBG. That is it up and running. <laughs> now, before I leave... Oh, this is going back to the other guy. It takes a few seconds for it to render in. It has got bugs and glitches and all that kind of stuff, as you can see. But... I cannot believe how well it actually runs on a mobile device. 
especially on a virtual machine mobile device. That's just mental. I wasn't expecting this to run. I thought it would need the latest Android version and all that kind of stuff, but to be honest, it's as smooth as butter. Right, the other thing is, while we're in here, um, if you go into... First off, let's minimize this little icon at the bottom here. Then you've got the controller settings. What you can actually do is change your settings to however you want. Again, if you want to invest some time, you can make it so that you don't have to touch the screen. You can set up macros to automatically do things for you. You can actually set up a controller, whether it be a 360 controller or whatever it is that you can put into there. I believe a standard, it's set up so you can do a Xbox pad uh, a standard without much messing around or fiddling but to be honest it's uh ah oh, i haven't got anything plugged in so i can't do that change mode okay so yeah you can change it so all your different buttons do different things then you can have different commands on the screen as like an overlay it's limitless it's up to you guys if you want to get stuck into this and invest a bit of time getting it set up then it's up to you obviously you're always hampered by the language barrier that's the biggest one and obviously your ping is a big factor in all this also and yeah that is it that is PUBG up and running so let's go back to the main menu you do get ranked up as well while you're playing which is awesome I believe you can open crates and things like that I got no idea I can't understand what it's saying so yeah that is PUBG that is this video over and that is absolutely crazy as always guys please like please subscribe please share this video so other people can join in and uh, <laughs> play the Chinese at their own game <laughs> literally but yeah most of all most of all you have a good day laters